too. So yes, you know, one of my favorite designers for a very long time. So I think I first started wearing your pieces in 2008. We were doing spring racing for quite a long time, coming into the studio, doing all the fittings. Fantastic. And I was very lucky. I was, I was attending one of the, I think it was Starby Day, and I actually got to meet him. I was on the He was so lovely and made the 30s. <laughs> Thank you, Nadia. So I guess there's so many new trends um, coming in at the moment, and it can get quite confusing to know what the what right you know look is and what you should wear and what you shouldn't wear. So I guess what are your key trends for the upcoming season? Well, firstly, I, I, I like to start all my collections with colour. Colour plays a very important role in how I present my ranges. So. You'll see with my range out the back, for example, I have an introduction of yellow this season, which is coming up in August. And yellow is a very interesting colour for me because I only do it every, say, three to four years. And once in a while, it just feels like the season for yellow and I can't quite put my finger on it. I've been designing for over 20 years and I've probably done yellow sort of less than 10 times. So yellow play is a big feature for me. Um, I had a really interesting moment I saw at Clairvoyant and she said to me, that um, there was there was a guy holding um, daffodils, so I kind of think maybe it sort of came to me as an inspiration. So colour plays a, a, a big role, and I think also just sticking true to your signature. So for me, it's always about sort of balancing that level of uh, sophistication, that level of sex appeal, and I think being a female designer, I you know I can sort of command those two things with the right handwriting for other women. Dresses really do tailor the body like no other, they're beautiful. So if you could pick one garment or one piece of clothing that I guess we should be wearing this season, what would you, what, what would you say to be? Yeah, I, I've got a blazer on today and I think you can't go wrong with a beautifully tailored blazer. So there's something about having an item that you can literally throw on at any time of the day and it kind of just gives a polish to what you've got wearing. So you might just be sort of running around in jeans and joggers, but if you can just put on a sharp laser, it just completes the look. So I think beautifully tailored and, and look for something that's got, you know, a little bit of an interesting feature. So for example, we don't have a proper sort of a normal traditional collar and revere on this particular jacket and it's also got a double breasted silhouette. So there's sort of different details that you can look with the blazer that adds the interest, I think. It's interesting. It's all about those really manly, oversized features this season, which can sometimes be a little bit scary to wear, but um, yeah, it's quite, it's quite cool as yeah. you're comfortable wearing it. Um, I guess, what is one trend out there that you wish you never happened? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I did think about this question, and for me, I'm going to say, I can't say no to a trend. And as a, as a designer and as a creative, it's really our point of view. We're, we're putting together our personal point of view and we're putting it out there for other people to experience and enjoy. And I don't want to block that process just because I may not agree with a particular look or a trend. I don't think it should be out, not out there in the marketplace. So I'm very much for free expression. I'm very much for anything goes. And I think you should be free to express yourself that you maybe want to. And if you want to wear a particular colour or a particular look, you know, a way that may not suit others, be yourself and be individual. So true, and yes, <laughs> definitely like that, I love that. So also, um, you know, the retail market can be quite high at the moment, and for sure. You always maintained and stayed so strong. How is that? Can you give out some of maybe other aspiring designers or small business owners out there to few tips? I think definitely partnerships play a big role when you are um, a part of a fashion business. There are so many aspects of running a fashion business and it's hard to manage, say, the creative with the business side and looking at your retail distribution. So for me, finding the right partnerships is really key. And for example, I have a very strong relationship with mine, so they retail my clothes all around Australia. I have my own factory and distribution in Sydney, so everything's manufactured 100% in one factory in Sydney, which means here in Melbourne, I get to just focus on product and design, and I think um, I think that's really important because it's it's difficult to be you know an expert in all areas, and you need to be able to be with the right people who you can trust to help sort of follow your vision through. Fantastic. And last question: What is next for your Ocean Bay Label? You know, I, I, I work in very small steps, and for me, it's about uh, long term rather than um, you know any big huge grand plans. It's always been um, 
my sort of methodology. So I'm just going to keep making dresses. It's absolutely what I love to do. I used to think, God, after like 20 years, am I going to run out of dresses that I possibly would want in my wardrobe? You know what? The answer is no. I still want to keep going. And I had a really lovely um, thought the other day. Um, you know, I do a lot of uh, red carpet dressing, like working with people like Nadia and other actresses. And I remember um, my mother telling me stories about my grandfather who passed away before uh, I could meet him, but he was a self-taught fashion designer in Korea. And, and after the war, he actually specialised in making um, dresses for celebrities on stage and on TV. And I was thinking, it's, it's so beautiful that I've sort of found this synergy with him and I've sort of headed into that direction. So yeah, I'll just keep sort of doing little small steps and making more dresses. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you all for having us. Thank you for joining us. We have many more desserts to come out on social media, so definitely don't leave yet. And let's have a great.